Yo, what's up, everybody? We back with another one. Today, we are doing 21 Savage, American Dream. Got my notes right here. Y'all see, I brought the notebook back and everything. But let's get to it, man. Like I said, this is 21 Savage, American Dream album. This came out, I think, last week. I think last week. But uh, track one, American Dream. It's his mom just basically talking about him wanting to... Uh, she wanted him to live the American dream, you know, because he's from, I think they're from another country somewhere. I can't remember exactly where they're from, but yeah, he's from over there somewhere. But yeah, she's talking about him living the American dream. It kind of gives you that Jay-Z, um, Sean Carter, um, Black Album, you know, introduction, kind of like that type of feel. But yeah, it's just an intro. Uh, track two, All of Me. It's got the crazy Rolls Royce, uh, Wishing on a Star uh, sample. I love that joint. You really can't miss with that sample. And 21, and 21 did not disappoint. Um, he's speaking on how he came up, how he was treated, um, the memories, all he got his pictures. Um, see my shooter is uh, pescatarian, um, but he eat up all the beef, you know what I'm saying? That's what he's talking about on that, but I really enjoyed it. I love that one. Track three, Rare Rum. Start off like an old movie, like the sample with the singing on it or whatever. Um, I want it all, I won't leave a breadcrumb, you know. Self-explanatory, Rare Rum. I'm rocking with that one too. Also one of my favorites. Uh, track four, H uh, N H I E featuring Doja Cat. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't the biggest Doja Cat fan like that, but I really like she really sound great on this one. Um, I, I I don't have a favorite Doja Cat album. I could literally take you know what I'm saying songs off every album and compile it into one. So I'm cool with that. But this one right here, she really sounded good on this beef. I mean on this beat. Um, they basically talking about, you know, what they won't do to each other, you know, play by the rules, that type of thing. Just a male perspective and a female perspective going back and forth, you know, saying what they won't do to each other, what they, you know, on how they move or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So that one, I like that one. Uh, track five, sneaky, self-explanatory. Um, every time we link up, we sneaky, you know what I'm saying? Basically talking about your baby daddy, he ain't nothing, you know, that type of thing braggadocious about what he can do for her and all that basically we know we link up we sneaky so that track is cool uh track six pop your shit featuring young thug and metro booming i don't like this one the production is cool but you could tell it's an old young thug verse you know free thugger um this one just didn't do nothing for me man i, I ain't rocking with this one uh track seven let us on my brother Flawless victory on this joint right here, man. The sample sounded like something from y'all ever be on IG, y'all be scrolling, and you hear them them producers with the with the old dip set sounding samples or whatnot. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure y'all have seen some of that before. But um this got like that old kind of like a dip set type vibe. It's like some old camera ish or whatever, but let us on my brother. Like I said, flawless victory on that one. He got off on that one. Uh, track eight, dangerous featuring Lil Durk and uh, Metro Boomin on the production. The beat is insane, man. Metro, you did your thing on that one. Dirk was rapping like he had something to prove. I like this. Uh, I like this type of Dirk, man. You know, so I ain't the biggest Dirk fan, but he he did his thing on this one, man. I really enjoyed that one. Um, and then what caught me by surprise too was Twenty One came back with two verses, which we normally we get a feature, we get we get the artist, we get the feature, that's the end of the song. But 21 came back with another verse. I appreciated that. Just gave that nostalgic, um, you know what I'm saying, one, you know, boom, boom, they come back again combo, which, you know, we don't get that often nowadays, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciated that. So, Dangerous, I mess with that one. Track 9, uh, Nina featuring Travis Scott and Metro Boomin on the production again. 21 stood out, but it still wasn't all that, though. You know what I'm saying? Not the... I like old Travis, but this new Travis, I ain't really been rocking with him lately. Um, I haven't been the biggest fan, but that track is just okay to me. It's not a bad track, but it's just it's just okay. Track 10, See The Real, um, sound like a Drake throwaway to me. It, him and Drake did that last album, it sound like something 21 might have heard. It was like, yo, let me get that. And he did his thing with it. It's a vibe, though, but, you know, I took L's, but I'm still winning. It's cool. Like I said, it just gives me Drake type vibes. You know what I'm saying? And I was expecting to hear him on it. Just how, that's just how much it sounds like a Drake song to me. But that song was cool. It's all right. Track 11, Prove It, featuring Summer Walker. Got that crazy Faith Evans sample. You are the love of my. Yeah, if you know the song, you know the song. I ain't singing that. But um, they smoked this one. Summer sounds incredible on this one, man. 
I'm definitely rocking with this one, man. Flawless victory on that one, man. Uh, track 12, Shoulda Wore a Bonnet, featuring Brent Fayaz. Um, flaw, another flawless victory. Got the crazy Mary J and um, KC from Jodeci sample. If loving you is all that, um, if loving you is all that I have to do, I don't want to do anything else. I love the way they flip that. Um, Brent Fayaz, he ain't the best singer in the world, but he know his lane though. He know his lane. I don't think he's trying to be a, a Chris Brown or R. Kelly or nothing like that. He got his own lane, kind of like Friday and Bory and you know guys like that. Definitely a standout track on this album for me. Brent Fayaz, you did your thing on that one. Also, check out Brent Fayaz's last album, too. I forget the name of it, but that's another one to me. I could let it ride from start to finish. Shout out to Man Man. He the one that put me on that album. I, I like that joint. Uh, track 13, Just Like Me featuring Burner Boy and also Metro Boomin on the production. Burner Boy had a hell of a last year. Um, he can't miss right now. So to have him added to the track, yeah, it's, it, it's that. It's one of them. It's definitely one of them, man. Uh, track 14, Red Sky. Also type of theatrical, movie soundtrack type vibe. I don't know who the who the guy is singing on it, but it sound good on it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of sound like some Eminem could probably be on that. Like some Lose Yourself old M type stuff. You know what I'm saying? For that beat or whatever. But I'm rocking with that one, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, vibe, I'm vibing with that. like that one a lot. Track 15, last track, um, Dark Days featuring Mariah the Scientist. A perfect way to end the album, Mariah the Scientist. She just has one hell of a voice, can't be compared to nobody. You know what I'm saying? She sounds great. Um, like I said, Dark Track, Dark Days, the name of the song. So a great way to end it. But um, that's uh, your last track, 15 tracks. I got to get this joint an 8.5 out of 10. One of my... Probably one of the 21's best albums in a long time, in my opinion. This uh, American Dream joint. But if you have listened to it, give it give it a shot, man. If you like 21, I'm sure you heard it already. If you like 21, all the 21 fans or whatnot. But yeah, check this one out, man. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Like 8.5 out of 10. Now, can it go up to a nine? Maybe. Like I said, the ones I wouldn't I wouldn't really rocking with. They're not like bad songs. I think it's more so like a a bad feature. Like the 21 Scott. I mean, um, like the um. Travis Scott, like I, I, you know, like I said, it's okay. Um, the one with uh, it's another one on here. The Young Thug joint, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Young Thug is a bad feature. I just think I think you would get a better version of Young Thug if he was home instead of a. But but who's to say that track is? That might be an old track they did together. I don't know. I just feel like Young Thug right now would just go crazy on the beat right now. But that's neither here nor there. But like I said, it's a few. I'm just they okay, but. Like I said, 8.5 out of 10. Check this out, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below, man. Till the next video, y'all be careful, y'all be safe, and we out. Peace.